As we were searching through the 400 recipes, trying to figure out which ones to bring on this side of television to cook, there was a Jamaican jerk chicken that caught my attention, and I didn't see who was going to cook, and then realized there were two names. Are you ready in the Seattle area for radio, the barbershop? For those of you who love football, Marcus Truffaut, Washington State Cougars, Terry Holloman, Washington Huskies. You guys cook? Believe it or not, <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, we do okay, it all. Well, we do I'm it just going to go away because I know you guys just do your own thing on the barbershop. Real yeah. quick, explain barbershop. What's that all about on radio? What do you do? Well, the barbershop is what exactly what it sounds like. It's in the barbershop. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody comes into the barbershop. Not only do you get a haircut, you talk current events, you talk sports, you okay. talk everything. And that's what we do. Yeah, and you do all kinds of things. You can, you can probably go in the barbershop and get some jerk chicken and, <laughs> and some red beans and rice if you wanted to. Of well, I mean, we know how men are. We do talk about foods and yeah. the foods that we like. Yeah. Okay, Terry, let's start with you of this recipe we're about to see both of you contribute to. Mm -hmm. What part of it is yours? I'm going to do the jerk chicken today, the Jamaican jerk chicken. Okay. I uh, learned how to make it in Jamaica where I was born. I actually okay. wasn't born in Jamaica. I've never been there in my life. But uh, I grew up around a lot of Jamaican guys, and they had it in their house, and I always wanted it. So I picked up a little bit here and there mm -hmm. of the recipe, and that's why I came with my own version. Okay. And Marcus, to add to this wonderful jerk chicken? Yes. We have the red beans and rice. Mm -hmm. Been in my family for a long time. Uh, both of my parents are from the South. My dad from New Orleans. My right mom on. from Texas. So, you know, red beans and rice has been a part of the family for a long time. I and mean, it's one of those meals you could eat a lot of it. So growing up as a young boy, had big, full plates of red beans and rice. And that's why I got these guys. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're going to love the plates. They're going back with Bridget in the kitchens of KCPS 9 Cooks. Think about that cookbook. Support everything you love here. Are you ready? Let's Absolutely. do it. All right. Let's do it. So guys, I'm so excited to have you here. Welcome. Thank you. This We're is, excited to be here. Yeah, it's yes, neat. Yes, so yes. What, what do we got? You guys, what are you guys going to share? Well, I'm going to make my world famous Jamaican jerk chicken. Nice. And uh, it's something that I love to make. I've picked it up over the years growing up. Uh -huh. I had a lot of friends that were Jamaicans. I wasn't, I wasn't Jamaican. I was the poor, <laughs> more American kid. Right. So, but I always wanted to learn how to make it. So. We started, here we are. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. So we start off with the onion. I, it's the, really the secret to this dish yeah. is in marinating. That's the only right. real major thing that takes place here. And I just want to quarter this because we're going to put everything in our blender here. Oh, easy. And just whiz it up. So I just quarter this so I can fit it all in our blender. Uh-huh. All right, Terry, I'll help you. You want to help me out here, Marcus? Marcus you know, <laughs> use some muscle over there. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, pretty Very easy. easy. Just throw that in. So how far in advance do you go? As far as events? Yeah, like oh, yeah, for marinating. For marinating, I like to keep marinate this for at least 24 hours. It's, okay. You know, but sometimes you're in a rush. I have a lot of kids and they're hungry. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> How many you know, kids you have? I have four. Wow. Yeah, and Marcus has four too. Yeah. Do you guys all play? All the kids get together for play dates? You know what? Mine's yeah. are a little younger yeah, than Terry's. Younger. I don't want them getting oh. yeah. I don't want them getting beat up by Terry's <laughs> oh. big kids. I don't so have them. No. no, I have girls, so they're oh. not that violent. <laughs> they're babysitting right. for yours. Babies. Right. Okay. Exactly. Got it. So we got the onion in, and then we also want to put the garlic in as well. So you've got about six cloves of garlic. Got about there. six cloves of garlic. Yeah. Six to eight, depending on it. And okay. it's very. It's a very. You know, the marinade you want it really kind of powerful because right. it's going to soak into the, to well, the chicken. Yeah, speaking of powerful. Yeah, we're going to get to that in a Just minute. So <laughs> yes. So we also have what we have here is ground thyme. Okay. Have some peppercorns. Wow. Yes. Delicious. Put the ginger in. Uh -huh. We have ginger. Okay. Allspice. This is really the key ingredient to this. Oh. Uh, allspice. What do they call it? In it's a. Uh, all spice? Yeah. <laughs> not to be confused with old spice. Right? Pimento. It's pimento, from the pimento, right, yes. Right. It's from the, not, to, not to be confused with allspice. Right. Marcus brought his jokes today. <laughs> <laughs> we also have brown sugar. We like to, you know, cut because it's going to be kind of spicy. Okay. We're going to add a little sweet to so it. That so that mellows it out. It mellows it out a little bit. So we add the brown sugar as well. Okay. We would like mm -hmm. to. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And then here is the secret ingredient that makes this the jerk Yum. the habanero. In okay. Jamaica, they like to use the scotch bonnet. Which is beautiful. Look yes. at these. Those are awesome. Yes, yes. So the, the key here is these are very, very, very spicy. So I see you heading toward the blender, seeds and yeah, all. Yeah, we go seeds and all. We want it, we're gonna keep it spicy. So your girls like it spicy? Absolutely not. Okay. So that's why <laughs> that's why I wanted to ask you as well. Because I, I don't know how spicy. spicy you like it spicy. I so like we can it go spicy. One, scotch bonnet, two, or do you want to go three? 
Mark, what do you think? Where's Mark? We gotta no. I, I say three. Let's, Let's go, go three. Go. Three. three. Here we go. Let's go for the gusto. This is gonna be really spicy when you put three of them. So in. now when you're working with them, you just pop them I in seeds and all. Everything the goes. Seeds in. the most important, the hottest, yeah, right? That's the most spicy part. Now the if seeds they can't the find them, what should they use? Again, if you can't find Scotch bonnet, which is very difficult to find, uh -huh. your habaneros are usually at most. Uh, grocery, grocery stores, stores you can find them. I know, absolutely. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Two right. C and some of those have them. Right. So and we also have soy sauce. I usually put a half a cup of okay. soy sauce in. Also to add a little sweet and citrus because this is a Caribbean dish. Right. You know, orange juice. Okay. Mm -hmm. You like that, huh? That's, yeah. That's a little different. A little different. You, th you thought I was gonna bring something for you to drink this <laughs> morning? <laughs> <laughs> well, I got a bottle around here somewhere. <laughs> okay. Olive oil. And you've got it, it looks like about, put about a half, a half cup, a cup or so. in there, yes. Okay. And then regular white vinegar. Okay. All right. And, oh, mm -hmm. look at that. Yeah. Okay. So it's pretty uh, it, tart. It's, okay. it's kind of tart. It's got a little tartness to it. Again, okay. this is a very, very flavorful dish. As you can see, we put a lot of good spices in there. You want to blend that up. All right, okay. all right, all right. Want to get it really smooth. Okay. And then here's the chicken. And then we got the chicken. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, that's our barbecue sauce. We're gonna leave. See, I'm, I'm, I told oh, you, so okay. my friends were Jamaican. I'm yeah. Southern. Got it. So I take oh, the okay. Jamaican and I add the barbecue sauce on it to make it Southern. Ah. That makes it the Terry Holloman I Jamaican oh, jerk chicken. Oh, I see what you did well, there, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so here's what people don't know. When you hear the word jerk chicken, uh -huh. it's not because it's a guy with a bad attitude that oh, makes chicken. <laughs> okay, it's Jamaican. The word jerk, it's, all, it's, it's juk. In Jamaican, juke. when they say okay. juke, that means to poke. To poke. So what we oh, want to do is. Oh, that's what you wanted the pork so, for. Exactly. Oh, so we cool. want to poke your chicken so that the marinade can soaks penetrate, in. soaks in. Okay, so you want to make I sure you. I just learned something new See? today. So, so say that's it like cool. you say it like a Jamaican, say juke. 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 It's juke. like juke chicken. Okay. All right, let's go to Jamaica. All right, let's go. I'm ready. I'm going to take We're you to Jamaica away. right <laughs> now. Okay. Yeah, man. So you just pour it on. Okay. I can hear the steel drums. Dum, 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 dum. Yeah, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. So keep it joking. I keep it joking. I yeah. keep it joking. So, and again, like I said, what I want to do is after marinated. I make sure everything is completely coated, I want to make sure this marinade goes in my refrigerator. I wrap it. Yeah. And goes in my refrigerator for 24 hours. Cool. So. So that goes. We're in gonna the pretend fridge? that we just put that in for okay. 24 hours. I got a nice baking, baking dish. And you can oh, either look pour at that. it all in. Do you really? Yeah. Juice and all. Juice and all. Wow. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Then I set my oven to 375. Okay, you, you want, want to put that in there? Okay. All right. You let that thing go, 375. Go ahead and pull this one? Yeah, go okay. pull that one. Okay, 375 for about 35, 40 minutes. Oh, but on the last oh, yeah, five minutes, good. what I do. Watch out, hot stuff. Yep. There. What I do before the last five minutes, yeah. I will take a little barbecue sauce, my favorite barbecue sauce. I don't have any particular that I want to endorse today. <laughs> <laughs> but I just take a little barbecue sauce and I rub it on Slather all the chicken and I, and I broil it for the last five minutes so it gets a nice glaze. That's beautiful. Okay, now what are we serving with this? Well, since Frickin you asked, frack, we got frack over since here. Since you asked, right. yeah, what we okay. will be doing today, let me get set up here. Here, let me pull this over. Yes, we will be having the jerk chicken. And it will be accompanied okay. with red beans and rice. Okay. Which is a dish that's been in my family for a long time. Both of my parents are from down south. My nice. dad is from New Orleans. Here you go. I'm my mom's from Texas. Here. Nice. So the red beans and rice have been in the family for a long time as a kid. So uh, yeah. Ate a lot of that. Could you hand me that bowl, please? Sure. There we want to wash the beans off. That's what we want to get oh, okay. started with. Perfect. And then you go. And then wanna, I got your pepper here. Yes, got my peppers. Jalapenos as well, because we like it spicy too over at the True Font household. <laughs> <laughs> so what you want to uh, start with, you're going to take your uh, peppers, your bell peppers, you're going to throw uh -huh. that in the pot. Okay. And oh, then, you boil them. Yeah. Neat. And then you throw your onions in. So you've got like four cups of water or so here? Yeah, about, um, I say about two quarts of water. Just two quarts. Total. Yeah. Okay. And then you want to get your garlic as well. Put that in there. Okay. And you want to just start this early so all that flavor just starts to cook down in there. You want all oh, that to be. So you simmer it all in. Simmer it all in. You want it engraved. You want it to get up well, in get, there. Get, yeah. Get, yeah. yeah. This is great. And then we like it spicy, like I said. So, you know, I got a lot of jalapenos, jalapenos. here, but okay. I'm going to just go ahead and dump the whole thing in there. So you can add it or not? Yeah, you can add it or not, but like I said, we like it spicy. Spicy. We yeah. like it spicy. So these are just like the pickled sliced 
jalapenos right, you buy yeah, yeah. at the market? Just the basics, just okay. the basics. And uh, then you're going to take your kidney beans. Yeah. And you want to... Those are nice, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, those are nice. And these are already clean. You want to rinse them off. So you want to take them over to a sink. You got your sink. You want to rinse these off. Uh -huh. And then you want to pour them in the bowl. Uh -huh. And usually what my mom and dad do, or my grandma would uh -huh. do, they would let these soak overnight. But we live so in they a, rehydrate. Yeah, right. so they rehydrate. But we live in the faster time Fast now, us They're young pressure folks. Cookers. Yeah. So you would just add water to this. Okay. Put it in the microwave, ten oh, to fifteen minutes really? or so. Yeah. And you want to check it. You just want those to be just to a nice -cook. texture. You want them to be good. Okay. And nice. After that, we go for about they ten to fifteen in. minutes. Yeah. All that just goes right in there. Okay. All that goes right in there. Okay. And then while that's going, you just bring it yeah. to a simmer and just let it simmer away. Yeah, just bring it to a simmer, let it simmer away. Okay. But while that's going, you definitely have to have your meat going, which is a ham hock. Okay. That's country now. Country. That ham hock, that swine is what they do down swine. there. Yeah. Swine. So what you want to do? So you grab that, and that could be beautiful neck okay. bone. That could be pickled pork. That could be. It. So does that go in here? Yes, that okay. goes in there. And do you add the, some of the liquid too, some of the cooking liquid? Uh, no, because that's really salty. So you want oh, all that salt okay, to cook point. out. Yeah, okay. You don't want it to be uh, too salty. Nobody likes okay. a salty dish. All right, I'm gonna turn so, that off. Um, and you got one here, I think. Yes. Wow, look at that. That is the finished product. That's the lovely product right there. And <laughs> to go with it though, we got the jerk chicken. We got the red beans and rice. Uh -huh. And you got to have your cornbread. That's okay. just how it works. Okay. In my household, in my mother's household, okay. not so much in my dad's, uh, they would do it from scratch. But like I said, we are of a younger um, people and we like to move fast. We got cell phones, we got our <laughs> social media and everything. We got computers. So, you know, quick, just a quick mix. You grab that, you put that in a pot, mix it up, crack an egg in there, uh -huh. put some milk in there. It's beautiful. Mix all that together. Mix it together. All up in there, like Let it I said. Get deep. <laughs> Let it get deep. Yeah, down get in all there. that in there. And then you got your lovely cornbread. And you got to add sugar to it. That's how I get my kids to eat it. That's a southern yeah. thing, right? With the... Kind of like a cake. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of like a cake, but it's still cornbread. All right, should we plate one up? What do you yeah. guys think? Yeah, let's plate let's one up. Let's, let's make it work. It. Okay, so some... there's a knife for the cornbread. And then uh, some tongs. I've got some warm. Yeah, here you go. Yeah, so we got the rice. And of course, the beans go over the rice. Okay, so I've got the beans. You got your rice. Yeah. All right, let me get you a spoon. I'm going to put the jerk. On, on first? Yeah, do here. All right, I'm gonna call Marcus that. He's nice. You're not the jerk, man. Yeah, Terry, at least not in front of company. Don't call <laughs> me out everybody's I'm looking. Sorry. Okay, I'm gonna cut okay. it just a nice small piece of cornbread, not too much. So now do you guys uh, cook a lot at home? I cook all the time. Yeah, Sweet. I cook all the time. I'm, I love to cook. You know, when I was young, I was really greedy, so I had to learn how to cook because my mom wasn't <laughs> available to cook all the time, so I had to figure it out. So you know what? I I cook um, not very often. You're but, a busy uh, guy. You got both of them. Yes, oh busy guy. I got a lot of kids, and you know my wife is a very busy also taking care of the kids. So I think I'm gonna try to step it up, do a little bit more, try to cook nice. a little bit more, try it's to help her out a little bit. It's important to cook with her family, mm -hmm. I think. Okay, I have a really important question. Yes. When you were playing football, yes. how many calories a day did you have to eat? Oh man, this isn't a. A show where we have to be too healthy, right? So No, but I'm so curious. <laughs> I was one of those guys. I'm hooked on pastries and stuff uh -huh. like that. And I would eat a lot. Uh -huh. I would eat a whole lot. Um, Tell the truth. Because what is it? Michael Phelps, is, was it like 10,000 a day? So. Yeah, I don't know if I was that oh. crazy. But yeah, but I would eat a lot because you practice all day. You're right. at the facility. You're lifting weights. And it's a full day. It's an eight-hour job of running around and being... Right. On the field, and yeah. you got to be full if you're going to go out there and go right. crazy, because that's what we did on the field. What you do go they call crazy. It, uh, hit the wall. Yeah. <laughs> Temporary insanity for a couple hours on the football beautiful. field. Beautiful. Here, I got but, a little cilantro. So be, oh, too. Hey, uh, this looks pretty good, though. That looks real good. That yeah, is beautiful. A little uh, cilantro for garnish. No, you don't wow. Have you ever that's had a beautiful. plate look that pretty, Marcus? Hey, man, I'm going to do it like I used to do. That's how I used to do my plate when I was about 10 years old, but it would be more Kay. of a. Oh. Guys, let's right. taste. Come on. Oh, here's a fork for you. Okay. All right. Okay, who's first? In. Who's first? Go Me. ahead, Bridget. Right. This looks awesome. Thank you so All much. All right. I'm going to get in some mm. of this, too. Spilt. Mark, you're really missing out. Mm. Mm. Gentlemen, Thank this you. is fabulous. Lovely. Thank you. Chicken. Barbecue Thank you. at your house. What's going on tonight? Um, I'm probably going to be eating <laughs> some jerk chicken. <laughs> you know, my door is always hey, easy, open, so you can easy. come by. Yeah. <laughs> I almost had a fight over the chicken. Yeah. <laughs>
So, uh, <laughs> so good to have you guys. Thank you for really having us. Really appreciate it. It's thank fun. you. Appreciate yeah, it. Thank thanks, you, thank Terry. You. Super cool. Thanks. much fun with we Marcus come and Terry. Look at, ooh, red beans and rice. Uh, you got to, we promise, what, right, guys? Yes. What chatter so at the barber shop <laughs> now that they've cooked on TV. Yes. yes. Was it great? Awesome. It was awesome, man. We had a great time. Yes. Really cool. Yeah. And look really at this. Cool. You got to yeah, taste it. You got to have some. You got to taste it. And Terry, I've been to Jamaica twice. Did you? Oh. Okay, this, this oh, is authentic. Look, the real deal? Yeah. He's looking envious. And Marcus with the beans. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, y'all mind. There you go. You got to try the chicken. I need a bigger towel. Come on. Come on. I did the cornbread there too. No, come on. Oh, you, you just gotta, gotta, gotta grab the bone. Mix it all together. There, there you, you go. go. There, there you go. go. That's how you do it. I like how it. How is it? Awesome. I'm still enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> Barbershop, Marcus Trufant, Terry Holloman. Get the cookbook. It's in there. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Super Thank fun. You. You're not gonna eat this one, are you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>